Eyewitness News is covering schools now, live at 5. Today marked the first day of classes for Rhode Island's largest school district. And we've learned it will not be business as usual this year for teachers and students in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. It's a huge day for Providence School students hopping onto these buses for the first time this year, and they're in store for some major changes. I found out exactly what they're going to be dealing with. The rev of a bus engine signifies the start of a new Providence school year, but students aren't the only ones hitching a ride. I'll jump on a bus and surprise some kids on the way to school and uh, hopefully get uh, kids started on the right track today. Mayor Angel Tavares continued his yearly tradition of touring schools along with Superintendent Susan Lucy. This is what the school system's all about, greeting our kids and our teachers and, wel and our families and welcoming everybody back for a great year. One of the first stops, Forts Elementary School. Students in this pre-kindergarten class are already learning how to use computers. A new initiative will allow these schools to have more decision-making power. In addition, a new schedule this year will give teachers more preparation time. We are having um, a late uh, a late start on Wednesday mornings with the exception of this Wednesday at four of our high schools and an early release on Friday at the remainder of the schools. That's to provide valuable common planning time for our teachers. You'll be driving in a after some attendance issues in previous years, officials are really focusing on keeping kids in class. The absenteeism rate for students is a huge problem for us. One of the things we're trying to do is make sure that parents know that uh, we need to have our kids in school every single day. And it also is letting the kids know how important it is to go to school every single day as well. And it's not just Providence schools. In all, two dozen school districts all around the state are all now back in session. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.